Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot, we're going to do a quick read. Going to try to keep it to about 15 minutes. Um, we're going to let the die make up the roll, or make up the, make up the read. Here we go. Cling, you know, Velcro over here. Um, we're going to make the die make up the read for you. And um, then at the end, we'll do six cards, Donna's Destiny. And um, we'll go over the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, yada, yada. So let's get rolling. All right, so what do we have? Five, 10, 23 is Steampunk. So we're starting off with a tarot spread with the Steampunk deck. All right, so what spread are we going to do for you all? We have our deck of spreads. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what you are supposed to hear. Why are there dead leaves on my table? All right, so. What is he slash she really thinking? Okay, so what is he, she thinking? Um, interesting, all right. So we're gonna use the steampunk deck. It's a six card spread. And let's see what we got. I feel like I'm cutting my head off with this angle. Um, hopefully you can see. All right, so six card spread. We're starting off with the five of swords, okay. Someone might be conflicted or got a lot of conflicting chaos in their head. Uh, well, I think whoever this is, they have a lot of love for you, though. Um, so what are they saying to you? Well, they're arguing with you. <laughs> Five of Swords, they're arguing with you. Um, what are they really thinking? Um, they may be thinking about having it all with you that financially. Maybe not like having it all with you like love-wise, but um, they may think that they could live the life of luxury with you. Um, look at this card. Actually, look at what she's holding, too, because she's holding cash in her hand. Um, so are they focused more on pentacles <laughs> than they are cups? Um, what he or she is really feeling deep down. Um, I don't like this. There's two ways to interpret this. Um, you can, what are they really feeling deep down? Um, either like being Shady McShadester or um, just hiding their feelings and thoughts from you, not letting you know what they think and feel. Treat, being a mystery um, or being shady and, and hiding stuff that they're up to um, that they know they shouldn't be doing. Um, their actions and behaviors towards you, um, they're actually hiding out right now. I think they're avoiding you. Uh, you get the Hermit card. Um, so, so far you've got Aquarius, Virgo, Aquarius, Virgo. Um, outside influences that are having an impact. Um, being at a crossroads. So you or this person may be at a, both of you may be at a crossroads where you're just trying to decide which way to go. Um, Maybe it's a major turning point in your life or their life. Um, and they're deciding whether or not they want to move forward with you or without you. Or you might be, it might be on your side. You may be, you'll know which one this applies to. If you're not feeling this way, then you know that's how they're feeling. Um, but it could be both of you. It is possible. Um, future next two to three months. Um, but see, this looks good. I like this. So things may be rocky right now. You know what? Leos always get the good reads now that I think about it. At my channel, you all always get the good reads. What's up with that? Oh. I mean, good for you. That's great. Um, but the next two or three months, you have the lover's card. So, I mean, that's awesome. And the king of cups is on the bottom of the deck. Now, um, this is a Virgo card. Um, this is an Aries card. This is a Gemini card. And then the King of Cups is um is Scorpio. So, and I'll go over the signs, like I said just now, I'll go over the signs that pop out. If any cards repeat, 
um, during your reading. I'll point that out. It could be relevant. Um, if nothing else, the signs associated with the cards could be um, relevant to you personally. All right, so let's see. Um, what else do we have? Twenty-three, ten, twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three, and that is okay. We can't do the same deck twice, so it's asking for steampunk again. All right, so six and four, ten, fifteen, twenty-two, hold on. Sorry. 22. I am not letting pets ruin this reading or rule this reading like it happened in the cancer reading. This is not going to happen. And this one right here, this one right here is the one that's making all the noise. This is Pookie. We have the same birthday. He was born June 28th, but I think in 2013. He's definitely not as old as me. Oof. But, ooh, he's mischievous. Ooh. Um, 22. Radiant wise spirit. Yeah, now he's mad. Tail's flipping around. All right, so will they call? Why didn't they call is the next one. So it is a four card spread. Um, done with the radiant wise spirit tarot deck. This one, great deck for beginners. All right. It's just a great all around deck for beginners. I really like this one. Um, it comes with for anybody who cares, it comes with a, a really nice book um, and a, a nice sturdy box. And it's the traditional Rider Waite deck, which I think everybody, when they learn, that's what they should learn with. And I will, somebody has trust issues though. <laughs> Someone has trust issues. The Nine of Wands just popped out. All right, so four card spread. There's that Ten of Pentacles again. So you could be dealing with somebody with Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Virgo. Or you yourself. Oh my God. And the Seven of Swords popped out. In the same, I don't know if you can see this. Can you, here, I'm going to pull these down so you can see this. In the previous spread, the second and third cards were the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Here, the first two cards, Ten of Pentacles and Seven of Swords, in that order. So, there may be somebody with Virgo energy, Leo. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, who is either trying to hide the fact that they're all about the money, or or they're just being shady. They're, they could be up to something, or they just may not want you to know how they th feel and think. But somebody's got some Virgo Aquarius energy going on here. All right, so... And then on the bottom, well, let's see, once again, you all get a great card, though. All right, so situation. Um, Ten of Pentacles is a situation? Is it a financial situation? <laughs> the challenge is either sneakiness or just not being upfront, just n not being open and honest. Um, the advice... I feel like this is the advice here is just to go about um, your way and do what you can to make yourself successful um, and enjoy, you know, having eyes on you. If there's competition, enjoy the competition um, that that other person is getting from people that are, you know, putting eyes on you. Um, the outcome, I don't like that. The outcome is the five of pentacles, either feeling left out in the cold or feeling poor. So the situation is all about money and having it all. And the outcome is feeling poor. So some, and here you have the new start in love and that almost looks like a marriage card, but somebody out there, some Leo out there could be with somebody who is only with them for, um, financial reasons only wants them because of whatever it is they have. And 
And once they get whatever they can, then you're going to be feeling poor. <laughs> so there's going to be a Leo out there that that applies to. So be careful. So if, if you suspect somebody is just with you for what you have, and you may not, you might say, Donna, I don't have a lot. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm average, you know, but trust me, there's always going to be somebody out there that has less than you. And to them, you may like be doing great. Um, so you may not realize that they may be poor or they may be, you know, um, feeling like they don't have anything. So there's that. Um, what else? But this almost looks like a new start in love. So just be careful. Just be, be on guard with the whole seven of swords thing. Seven of swords can be hiding your thoughts and motives, um, and even your feelings, but it can also be trying to get away with something. So there's something to be aware of. All right. We'll do it this way. 10, 27 is the Spellcasting Oracle. So it's an Oracle card. Okay, so what Oracle card? So healing and good luck. So some of you all are gonna go th are gonna need healing of some sort. It could be emotional healing. It could be physical healing. Um, could be mental. But I mean, I, I feel like a lot of you all, it could be emotional healing. So if you have been hurt, um, focus on your healing, and you do have good luck. So if you're feeling kind of down and left out and out in the cold or poor, don't worry. You have good luck. It's everything's gonna be okay. Um, here, I'm going to put this up here somehow. All right, so what else? What else do you need to hear? You know, there's no easy way to do this. Eight, ten, eight, ten. Okay, so ten, twenty-four, light sears. Okay, so we're going to do one more spread and then. And then we're not doing the year ahead because we've already done the year ahead for you all. Um, this one is the Are They Worth It spread. It's a seven card spread. So, um, Light Seer's deck. This deck right here. Okay. This is a great deck. I love this. I just reviewed this. If anybody is interested in getting this deck, look at my review. Um, I did a flip through and I just, you know, I showed you, you know, what it looks like and what I think of it. Highly recommend this deck. It is not the traditional Rider weight deck, but it's a great one. Okay, so seven. Hmm. Okay, so some of you all either are dealing with somebody with cancer energy or you yourself have something in cancer. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, if you're a Leo sun, you may very well have Venus in cancer. All right, so are they worth it? Seven card spread. And you know what? I need to shuffle this well because I think I did the review last night. And I had to put everything in order. Uh, Major Arcana and then the, um, I s separated all of the suits and did them uh, ace through king. So I just want to make sure this is well shuffled. All right, let's see. I feel like this is probably pretty good. All right, so are they worth it? Seven card spread. What do we have for cups? Hmm. Okay. He's going to keep that shit up, isn't he? He's going to keep that shit up. And he's going to get a little butt kicking. I mean, I don't, I don't actually abuse my pets, but, oh, they just frustrate me. Something fierce. All right, so it's the first one, um, who they are. Um, so this person is possibly somebody who is blocking you, avoiding you, rejecting you, making you feel blocked or rejected. Um like they don't care like they're uninterested um, how they see you hold on all right is there anything else I can take from you that you can't rattle anything at all anything at all we're not doing this all right so 
how they see you is the Three of Cups. Leo, I am so sorry. Give me one second to move everything away from him. All right. I'm sure he'll find something in his mom. Something to rattle. Okay, so how they see you is the Three of Cups. So they may see you as... Um, they may see you as somebody who's just fun-loving and um, optimistic. They could see you somebody, as somebody who likes to party it up too much. Um, this is how they see you. But they may see you as just someone who's really fun. Um, how they feel about the relationship, very passionate. This person feels very, very passionate. Um, something you're ignoring about this person. Oh, Leo, Leo. <laughs> Um, so I guess a lot of you all know what the Knight of Wands is. And if you don't, well, allow, allow me to uh, break it down for you. Something you're ignoring about this person that you don't want to see. Playa, playa, playa. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Um, now in this deck, it could just be somebody who likes to play and have fun. But traditionally, if it's something that you're ignoring about the person, it means that this person's a player. The, why do they feel passionate about the relationship? Because it could just be for them sex. I mean, they just, they're having fun. Um, what the relationship is based on, holding back. So is there a lot of holding back, people not talking to each other? Um, the future of the relationship. Now, once again, it's... See this card, this was on the bottom of the deck from the previous, the the other spread. We did um the will they call, why didn't they call? Um and in that case it looks like they won't call. But anyway, in this spread you have the ace of cups again, a different one, but it's an ace of cups. So the future of the relationship I, now, normally an Ace of Cups is like a new start in love, but look how she's holding this. Doesn't that almost look like self-love? Doesn't it? It looks like self-love. It looks like healing, healing, and learning to love yourself. So the future of the relationship, it could be a new start in love, but I almost feel like it's you healing and learning to love yourself. Um, a lesson from this. The Page of Wands, again. Um, it's immature, and it's someone who acts on impulse. So at the bottom of the deck, you have the moon. That's secrets, um, things that are hidden, you know, what's not known. So unfortunately... <laughs> This particular person, um, I feel like they're probably a player, and that's there's a lot of holding back. They're making you, they're, they might have you blocked, or they're just ignoring you. Um, and I think it's going to teach you self love and healing. And the lesson is to be on the lookout for immature people who who act on impulse and just kind of let their impulses decide their choices in life. You know, everything is impulse. They have no impulse control. Could be why they're a player. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Six cards, Donna's Destiny. And if this resonates at all, feel free to hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Um, so six cards, Donna's Destiny. And then we'll do, if you're dealing with, um, and I'll have to do it with this deck. <laughs> because I already used the other Rider Waite deck. All right, so what do you need to see for my ones. Uh, luck will improve. See, didn't I say good luck? Luck will improve. <laughs> it's saying stop being petty. So if you're being, if anybody's being petty, you know, there's that. Um, you will meet a relative of theirs. Okay. They want to see you. They're anxious. So it could be an act of this whole, you know, acting like they don't care about you. <sighs> Trust issues are affecting your relationship. Didn't I, when I was doing the pre-shuffle, did that nine of wands come out? Nine, the number nine. That's usually trust issues. Um, trust issues are affecting your relationship. So they have problems trusting. That could be why they're childish and, you know, emotionally immature and acting on impulse and being a player. 
they can't be trusted, Leo. <laughs> All right, so they may have been hurt in the past, and they're, it's, they're letting it make them act like a douche. Male, female, whatever. They're acting like a, a jerk. Um, play more. You're too serious. All right, so let's see. If you are dealing with an Aries, all right, if you are dealing with an Aries, and like everything's fine but the in reality the Aries has um the Aries has trust issues um they're acting like everything's cool but they're actually they they're untrusting the Taurus is feeling burden and wants to fight the Gemini is focusing on self-care and self-love and they're spying on you the Cancer is trying to they're trying to, to balance things out, equal things out, but they're having a hard time making a decision. Um, the fellow Leo, um, they want to offer you love, and they want to, they might want to offer you some kind of gift too, something financial. Um, the Virgo is trying to be patient, and they're just weighing their options. They could be juggling, um, but they're just trying to be patient. The Libra wants um, commitment, stability, and, and fairness. They want everything to be fair. The Scorpio, Jesus, the Scorpio is all about you. Um, you get, once again, the Ace of Cups. So ace, the Aces are um, three, you know, all three signs of a, a you know, particular suit. In this case, it's it's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, and the Ten of Cups is, is Pisces. Um, but the Scorpio, um, they see you as their Ten of Cups and they want a new start. And here is a Scorpio card for the Sagittarius one. Um, the Sag sees you as wish fulfillment, and they have a lot of love for you. Capricorn is, there's that moon again, um, and that's a Pisces card. Um, the Capricorn is taking a break, and there might be secrets. There could be secrets, things are just hidden right now. They might be trying to hide something, I don't know. They might be on a break trying to hide something while they're on a break. The Aquarius is has an Aquarius card, um, the star. They want to heal things and grow. Um, right now, they're just kind of watching and waiting to see what you're going to do. The Pisces, um, they want to argue, but they do want they want a new um, start. Or they want to try. Um, I don't know. I almost want to say they want to turn over a new leaf. That's kind of how it looks like. They want to turn over a new leaf, but they're arguing. They're bickering. Um, and then here's the Queen of Wands, which is, um, an Aries card on the bottom. But this is, um, whoever you're here to hear about, I feel like you have a lot of passion for them. But then again, you're a Leo, so wouldn't you? Leos are passionate. All right, so Leo, I love you guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next read. All right, thanks.